Welcome back. Here we are. Uh, let's play Silent, Hum Silent Hunter 4. We're going to start our patrol number 2 here. Let's go ahead and start this thing. Let's get things moving. Um, we run into kind of an impossible situation here in that uh, my boat has been, the past 11 days, has been at the, uh, the submarine base in Manila despite the fact that uh, Japanese have captured it. It's, it's a problem. I mean, the game isn't really set up to handle this this eventuality where the, you know, every time you go back to base, the boat stays there for a couple of days, uh, you know, a couple of weeks, you know, getting refit, uh, getting new crew. What if the Japanese captured during that time? Okay, so to solve this problem, I wrote a script of a of a fictional story here. Uh, I think that what happened was hey, the music disappeared. Yeah, uh, I think that what happened is that I came back. Uh, there was a false freighter that was in dock here, with a uh, with a uh, big doors in the front, and we we stowed our S boat inside this false freighter. Uh, the the false freighter was from, used for smuggling. I don't know something really outrageous. Uh, I was, I was thinking of the story. I was going to have Joss Whedon. I was going to do a treatment of my script. We're uh, going to get Spielberg to do some directing. Uh, we'll have Christian Bale play uh, Kvothe Shafto, Lieutenant Commander Kvothe Shafto, commanding the boat. Uh, also, uh, helping to to ferry all the supplies, help, uh, to get all the supplies that we need to refit the boat and get some new personnel to the boat hidden inside the false freighter, uh, the smuggling ship. We'll have. Uh, Natalie Portman in Zi Zong, uh, you know her. She's the crouching tiger, hidden, hidden, hidden dragon chick. Yeah, we'll have both of them. That they're off. They're actually triple agents. They're spies for America, the Philippines, and Japan. That are uh, they're playing all three sides against each other uh, under the cover as high class prostitutes working in Manila. It was a really good script, even before Joss got to it. Uh, I mean, there's action, there was poignancy, there was uh, drama, there was... Oh man, there's, it was a coming-of-age story, really, for several members of the crew, some of the younger guys. Uh, it was... I mean, we, we had bus chases, we had exploding trains, uh, we had, we had tearjerker scenes where, you know, the guy was dangling off the off the uh dangling by his fingernails off the edge of a of a roof and he fell it was oh man it was sad it was sad and of course the grand finale here we we got the boat all constructed in order to distract uh the japanese forces away from um while we launch the boat so that they, they won't see us uh natalie portman and z zong the the triple agent spies they had to maintain their cover. They did a party. They recreated uh, a certain scene from a Requiem for a Dream in, uh, in order to distract some uh, Japanese officers there. And if just my saying that, if you already know exactly what scene that was uh, without uh, looking it up, and if you also think that it'd be a good idea to have Portman and Z uh, reenacting it, then you, my friend, are a sick, sick human being, and you should be ashamed of yourself. So, anyway, here we are. Here's our S-boat, after just incredible amounts of drama, escaping Japanese-occupied Manila. We also have... Hey, we got a kill flag, because we sank a ship. So... I think that's pretty cool. Let's plot a course out of here. Where am I? I'm up here. Ship spotted. Yes, yes, ship spotted. And where have we been ordered to go patrol here? Over here in the South China Sea, not too far off Cameron Bay. I'm actually not certain how that's pronounced. I don't know how a lot of things are pronounced. I just fake it. Cameron Bay, that's how it's spelled. It's probably pronounced something like that. So, let's go there. Uh... 
Um, I, I meant to record and talk about uh, some of the stuff that we're doing uh, in base to getting the new crew, but I mean, it was so ridiculous. I had to replace so many guys uh, that I actually ended up having to uh, exit out of the game and then get back into it multiple times. Uh, to exit and relaunch several times before it, it would randomly generate enough officers and crew for me to fill out my roster here. We have no lieutenants left. All our officers are ensigns, only one of which, only one of whom has any experience. Mr. Stevenson, who I believe just a uh, short time ago I was uh, berating him for being wet behind the ears, know nothing. He is now our senior officer on board, besides the, uh, Lieutenant Commander Me. Oh well. Yeah, a whole bunch of new guys. We shuffled some of our uh, some of these machinist guys around. We, uh, yeah, a couple of them got medals for the heroic stuff they did and fixing the boat. And we've got a bunch of rookies, bunch of apprentice seamen here. With no experience yet. Uh, no upgrades to our boat yet. We still have the same. We've got the, the four inch gun on the front. No radar yet. Uh, same uh, same load of Mark 10 torpedoes. So, let's get this thing moving, huh? Really, I wish I wish you could have seen the movie. I had I I had the movie. I could see it in my head. It was going to be just fantastic. There's gonna be drama. There's gonna be crying. There's gonna be laughter. There's gonna be explosions. It would have been incredible. Yeah, excellent visibility. No wind. No waves. Worth speaking of. Yeah, here's all our new guys. Hi, new guys. How you doing? Good job looking, scanning out for ships, but... Okay. We're going to learn from previous experience here, and during the daylight hours, I am going to stay submerged. So, let's take this thing down to... Yeah, let's go to 150 feet. New deck. One, four, yes, sir. Nine. Dive, dive. And let's say two knots. Confession time. I have to confess that I uh, slightly wimped out and I did uh, modify one thing that I didn't especially like in the in real fleet boats default settings. Is the I went and I, I took some advice off the forums. Captain Scurvy had some advice, uh, some weird numbers real fleet boat had in there. I've modified the 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 chance of aircraft detecting me while I'm submerged. Uh, because really, if if I'm down here, you know, if I'm going down to uh, like 150 feet, that's my goal. You should be pretty much invisible. I mean, maybe if you're running shallow, maybe a overflying airplane could see me, but not not if I'm down at like 150, 200. So, yeah, I went, I went. And you you could you could um, if you wanted to accuse me of wimping out, I I couldn't argue with it, but. I think we have a better chance of it being a uh, a let's play that'll last for a while, and, you know, maybe actually have a lengthy campaign if I don't just get bombs and depth charges dropping out of the sky to smite me down like an angry god out of a clear blue sky. Okay, so let's think about this here. Cameron Bay, um, important port there. There's going to be traffic that's be coming in here from this direction. I want to set a patrol up, like, along this line here, from between the northern Luzon Strait to Cameron Bay Trey. I guess some of the traffic will be coming on this side, too. So I'm going to set up a, tr a patrol along here, in this area. Yeah, okay. I think that'll work. We'll patrol that area and see what happens. I thought I saw a stutter. Let's go to periscope depth. Periscope depth. Yes, 
Take a listen around. Aha! The rest of the way around, see if anybody else is out there. Unit you know, sounds a lot slower than the other one. That's a merchant. Distant. Okay, let's call that a true bearing of 340. I can hear him. And I betcha that I'm hearing him somewhere around like 20 miles away. He's as quiet as he is. Somewhere around there. So, let's surface the boat. What time is it? Wow. It... Okay, I mean 6.30, that means we're fast approaching morning. And I don't like being on the surface during daylight hours, so this could get kind of tricky. I don't know whether this contact that I found, was he heading towards Cameron Bay? Is he moving away Cameron Bay? Or is he doing something totally different? Drive straight towards him. Okay, so true bearing, what's that? We'll call that 324 surface. Yes, sir. Surface the boat. So I think he's heading towards surface, surface, Cameron surface. Bay. Okay, so if he's moving, and he's a little bit closer this time, if he's moving in a direction like this, I'm going to want to try and intercept him somewhere over here. So I'll move in a direction like that, see if I can pick him up. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Bag me a merchant. Oh, I hope it's a tanker. Tankers are my favorite kinds. Ah. Okay, I see a little smudge of smoke here. I see the reflection of the smoke in the water. Okay, he's about a 50 relative bearing. You can barely, barely see his outline against the horizon. Barely see it. You probably won't be able to see it in the video. Good, but I don't. This means I do not have to submerge again to find him. Still, it's pretty hazy. I can't really identify what I'm looking at here. Aha. Maintain current orders. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's mark them. Starter clock. And now let's move while that's running. Let's try to get up ahead of him here. I'm hoping he cannot yet see us. Doesn't appear to be weaving. That is a Japanese flag. Oh, he's got those big uh, cranes there. I don't actually know what the technical term for it is. I think the, the cranes, the cargo handling, what's its? Maybe? No. Very 
certain that isn't it. Actually, I think that could be it. Little hog, I, I think that is it. Yeah, it's got those. I can see the two lifeboats here, the two lifeboats there. Hog Island Type A. I don't know what they're doing on Hog Island, but here it is. 700 yards in three minutes. And it means seven knots. But he's not going to stay in at 230 heading for too long because he's going to run into land down here. He has to get around here, so. I want to intercept him before he turns. So at that point, how far ahead would I be? It's barely outside his visible range. That'll work. I can make that work. Okay. There's my intercept course. In theory, this should let me get up ahead of him to the point where I can turn, and then I'm somewhere around here, I'll submerge, and he won't be able to see me. I'm a lot smaller, he is a lot harder to see. 15 minutes, he traveled 3,500 yards. Let's use my scale over here. Yep. Seven knots. Maintain current orders. I don't think he's seen us yet. Ooh, except the music changed. I think he may have seen us. Oh, and he's swerving. Did I screw that up? Did I screw that up already? Oh, I got a much closer than I thought I was. Let's... Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he didn't spot us. Let's go to battle stations. Oh, that sounds like he's going faster now. I really think I kind of did screw up. That's right, he was... Oh, listen to him changing speed. He's swerving. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. All stop. So, carefully set up the shot. Yeah, that's not going to work. Let's see if... See if he's got any guns. Swerving now. I'm looking carefully, I do not see any guns on the front. I don't see any guns in the back. What the ship identification is that? What, is that what I'm looking at here? Yeah, Hog Island Type A. Okay. So, uh, since I was sloppy on this approach, surface, and I allowed him to spot me moving in, surface. Surface. we're going to have to do this the hard way. Alright, where's some of you gun guys? I want some of you gun guys in the deck gun because we're going to be doing this. Um, let me see. And I want you three guys. OK. 
Okay, we are surfaced. Where's our target? There he is. Yes, sir. Runner. Let's kill that battery charge. We don't need that right now. You know he's on the f on the radio right now. He's calling his buddies. They're sending airplanes and stuff our way right now. Sorry about that, guys. I should have been more careful. You know what I just realized? I forgot to do. I forgot to load this gun. I'm not going to take try and take him down with just the deck gun. We're, we're going to shoot torpedoes at him. The the deck gun it is capable of of sinking him, but it'll take a really really long time and a whole lot of shells. Uh, I don't think I have that much time. Oh, that's right. Let's erase all this junk. Boom. So the plan is I'm gonna get it up real close and personal and shoot some torpedoes at very close range. 